number line and this is great for the three to five grades because it's a grade that they're like starting to to do math equations they're a little difficult like adding and subtracting and times so it's a great an easy way to like practice so all you're gonna need is a ziploc i did not have the one that slides but you don't need that one necessarily. It's easier to have that one, but if you don't have it, it's totally, totally okay. So you just need a Ziploc, a white paper, so you can put the numbers, your equation numbers, a pen, anything that shows through the Ziploc, and scissors. So yeah, so on your Ziploc, you're gonna do a timeline, put the numbers one till 10 on the top part right like this and on your paper you're gonna you are going to cut how many squares that, that you want does not matter I already did a couple but we can do it some more so, and, and it doesn't have to be straight okay if you don't have a scissor so you can just like rip it out like this and if you don't have a scissor you can just rip like this so you can create like a little square to put your equations and it's okay if you don't have a scissor but if you do that's even better I'm just gonna cut them out like this on squares it can be how many as you want Okay, and when you're done with your squares, you're going to write equations on them. For instance, you could write four times four on it, or you can write, I don't know, like eight minus two on it, or you can write five times four on it, or you can write 10 times one on it okay and you can write two times two or you can write four times one and you can write like four times three or you can write 10 times 10. And for instance, if your timeline does not have the number that you did, like this for this, this one, for example, time, 10, 10 times 10 would be more than 10 than what we have on the timeline. So it, that is okay. You can just grab another Ziploc and add more numbers. And that is totally fine. But once you are done with your equations you just put them inside the ziploc like this like this and and yeah and you just say four times three and you put the little ziploc um slider on the number on the answer mine does not have the ziploc number so i would just point to the number that I think is the answer. But if your Ziploc has a, the timeline, the Ziploc liner, slider thing, so you can just like slide it to the answer. And that is just a quick, easy way to do your math equations. And it's very simple too. So yeah. <laughs>